All right, incredible star family. I want to do a 28 day manifestation process with you. This is something that I work with regularly. It is one of the primary tools that really helps us bring into the dream and into the reality what we do want to create. One of the key things that I want to invite all of you to kind of tap into is that we are in a time right now where we are really being called to put our manifestation template out into the holographic reality of this uh, whole timeline that is happening, especially with 2024 and all that is going on. We know that there are a lot of challenges that we may be potentially facing. So within that, here's a couple key things I want to touch on. Number one, I want to talk a little bit about disclosure and how does disclosure work? Now, we understand that when we are presented with something, we have an opportunity in that moment to either consent or not consent to it. We also need to kind of recognize that disclosure doesn't come overtly. It doesn't come with a big old uh, piece of paper or an announcement that says, by the way, this is a disclosure and we're letting you know that this is going to happen. Uh, disclosure comes in many ways. So the primary thing I want to talk about with disclosure is that when we see a lot of the negative alien agenda that has been going on on the planet, it's important for us to realize that through universal law, they have to let us know what they're going to do. And I know a lot of you are probably like, well, wait a minute. It feels like it's all covert and hidden and I don't know what the agenda is. But that is not correct. We do know, but it comes in forms that we don't take seriously. It comes in forms such as movies, such as cartoons, such as uh, things that look like just random um, satires or announcements that are out there that aren't full on, say, a news program or a report or some sort of massive legal document. Disclosure comes through our imaginal plane. So it primarily comes through visual form of movies and uh, effects that we see through our eyes. Now, when we watch a movie, when we see something on TV, when we're scrolling through YouTube and we see something, when we have something flashing into our mind, and this is why you hear me talk many times about how I really don't recommend getting addicted or stuck in on scrolling through Instagram, TikTok, or even YouTube shorts, because again, you don't have enough of your conscious mind present while you're taking in all of this information through your eyes. So when we watch a movie and they're showing something massive, like massive destruction or um, alien invasion or some massive catastrophe or um, wiring or AI agendas or programming of humans, this is a huge thing uh, that is out. All kinds of different sci-fi movies out there that are about plugging people in, people not realizing they're in an alternate reality and having to um, kind of come to a conclusion or ask questions or break away from these systems and get out of AI plugged in systems. This is a massive theme right now and a lot of different things. Uh, uh, negative alien uh, landings. Um, so even the thing that happened in Miami and different situations where we are being told about, oh my gosh, you know, if they come, all these landings are going to come. We got to be careful. They're going to be bad, right? What there is, is there's a massive disclosure for the negative alien agenda timeline of uh, basically what we would think of in, in the terminology that's been out there as false flag. So when we think about this vibrational energy, we want to go like, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, well, there's a lot of the starseed community and the empath community that can't handle watching a lot of that stuff, right? But guess what? Just because you're not watching it doesn't mean that there's not billions of other people watching it and through their just feeling that it's just imagination, that they are just watching something that is fictional. Therefore, they're making a consent 
to it. So this is where we come in as so vitally important. And this is why I ask many times, please at least dip into poking out into what is going on on the planet and on the and on our beautiful planet Earth because it's important for us to also have enough awareness out there so that we can be the dream or the manifestation template that is saying, I do not consent to these types of things. So here's the thing. There are many of us that get drawn to maybe kind of seeing what is out in the cinematics and in different programmings in order not so much to be kind of dulled down by what is going on, but primarily to see what is the agendas being pushed out? What is the disclosure being pushed out, right? And so here's one thing I want to share with you guys. It's really, really powerful. When you watch these things, if you see something that happens, number one right away is to either say, I do not consent. All that I am witnessing right now, I witness that this is something being projected into the dream template of the consciousness field for planet Earth. And as I witness this disclosure, I do not consent. Another way to verbalize this, number two, is just to, to when you observe it, observe what is being presented as something maybe wanting to be pushed upon the population and say, cancel and delete that. And I, I just always like to add, I do not consent. So cancel and delete that projection into the dreamscape and I do not consent. Okay. So number one biggest thing out there, we need to recognize that because your light codes and your fire letters in your body are so powerful that you being witness to these things and then utilizing your free will and your sovereignty, your soul sovereignty, when you witness it, you can be the canceling energy. You, my dears, with your intention and focus can literally cancel out millions of others that are just unconsciously watching things and going along with it and going like, hey, that was cool, right? So I want to remind you of how powerful you are when you consciously dream. So really quick summary, massive disclosure is constantly happening on the planet. They are not hiding what they are doing. They are not hiding what they are planning. Not at all. It is being revealed to us in forms that most people discount as just uh, satire, cartoons, um, media, movies, and it's just fictional, so it's just made up, okay? So when we acknowledge that that is the way that they actually do disclosure, and when we consciously visualize it, here's this, the next layer to this. This is really, um, I, I gotta say, they are absolutely brilliant. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They're very smart. They're master manipulators of our mental template and our mental body. Because guess what? Those billions of people that are watching that programming that are unconscious that it's disclosure and that it's real and that it's being implanted as a possibility for the future template of earth. Guess what? Now, when we watch it, not only if we blindly watch it and do not get into the frame of saying, I do not consent and I cancel and delete that off the earth template. Number two that happens with that is that through our imagination, we actually become the power source for bringing it into the manifestation field because now we watch one of these movies and we think about it and we imagine it and we sense it and we feel it. We're like, oh, or we're like, wow. And guess what we just did? If we are not canceling and deleting it, we are creating it for them. So I want to put that out there so that we start to recognize how important we are. Okay, so now the next phase of this, I was bringing up the terminology of dream multiple times. And so this 28 day manifestation process, I'm going to invite each and every one of you kind of like a challenge to join me in for this next 28 days, especially as we really move through the Aquarius energy. We are now within a vibrational energy of Aquarius really coming online, which is Uranus energy, which is long term memories, which is our Kundalini energy, our soul um, power force and vibrational energy. Okay. So now as we imagine that vibration, 
let's go ahead and add the next template to that. And what that is, is to start to actually work with the power of lucid dreaming and even out of body techniques. And this is how this works. So I want to share with you a process that is used for practicing uh, out of body experiences. And this is a development process for practicing to create your light body. Creating your light body is the, some people call it the astral body or your light body template, which is the body you move around in, in your dream state. Okay. So when you are going to sleep at night, you can lay perfectly still, but start to imagine that you have dream arms or light body arms. And you want to start practicing what it would be like to um. Feel, sense, and imagine yourself lifting that light body arm and dropping it down. Lifting that light body arm and dropping it down. Okay? Do it with your leg. Next, within uh, the outer body practice, is to imagine um, flipping circles, like rotating circles. Okay? Now, within this, you're doing it with your light body. They even go as far as to imagine doing somersaults backwards. You want to do things that are absolutely ridiculous to do with your physical body but that you could do with your light body and that begins to actually help you disconnect from the physical form so that you can begin to move through uh, other levels of consciousness basically by locating um, moving through uh, astral levels dream realms and uh, all of that kind of travel okay so this manifestation process that I want to share with you is exactly the same. I would like for you guys to pick one thing, okay? One thing that if you could manifest this in your life right now, it would make the greatest difference. I know there's a lot of us, especially you manifesting generators out there who are like, I don't know, well, there's this and oh, what about this? And what about this? And oh, I want this, 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 and this, right? So whatever your whole list of things are that you might want different, I want you to pick one thing that if that manifested in your reality right now, it would make the most impact and the most difference for you and be part of that domino effect, maybe even of allowing a lot of those other things to come into manifestation. So take a minute, um, maybe take, take some time after this to really whittle it down. I really want you to pick one thing. As much as your mind is going to want to go like, uh, oh, but I want to do this, 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 and this, that will convolute this process. And you want to become masterful at getting really good at just focusing, hyper vigilant focus to this one thing. We're taking our consciousness back. And part of all of this fast um, uh, digital content that we've been consuming literally overwhelms our uh, neural processors and makes it hard for us to stay hyper focused on one thing and we want to do that because that's really what a lucid dreaming state is it's it's almost like hyper focus on things going way deeper into something so now pick that one thing just one thing because guess what after you've manifested this one thing you can pick one of the others right <laughs> but for right now pick that one thing now, when you are going through your day, I want you to continue to do this, but I am going to speak it to you based on when you go to bed at night. So we want to utilize the powerful energy of our dream state consciousness. When we start to tap into that um, liminal space as we're falling asleep, we're actually starting to tap into the pure manifestation fields and imaginal fields of our uh, abilities to create with our source field, with our God creator source energy. It bypasses our conscious mind. So now think about this. I want you to imagine that you're laying in bed, you're going to sleep. I want you to get as still as possible where you begin to start to imagine your light body. Begin to again practice what it would be like to lift and lower one of your light body arms. Then you are in detail going to picture whatever it is that you want to manifest. If you want to manifest a new uh, body image or weight, if you want to manifest a uh, 
abundance within your life, some sort of physical uh, or financial abundance in your life, that is also viable. If you want to manifest something within your business, within your home, maybe you are wanting uh, to bring a, a new baby into the home, you know, whatever it is that you are wanting to manifest, you are going to picture the moment that it is the reality being revealed within your life. Okay, so say, for instance, it's body image or body weight, you're going to imagine the moment uh, that you are stepping on the scale, the scale numbers, when you look at it with your light body, say the number that you want, maybe you imagine there's a mirror right in front of the scale that then shows you the entire image of your form, the way your form looks and then you might imagine that someone walks in that you care about that is celebrating it with you imagine the joy and happiness how light how comfortable maybe how flexible how toned your body feels okay now if you are manifesting abundance you can start to imagine whatever that financial amount is you got to pick it you got to pick a number you don't want to just say oh i want more money in my bank account because guess what one penny is more money in your bank account you got to pick a number and then what you want to do is you want to imagine uh you actually want to kind of get more physical and imagine that you would be like say counting out that amount maybe while imagining that you opened your laptop you're logging into your bank account and you're feeling yourself counting all of those hundreds or all of those uh dollars that you are uh, the currency that you have just attained but it's very important when you are manifesting an amount of abundance in your life that you do make sure that you are manifesting it as your money and not that you're counting it for somebody else you don't want to be you know someone that's manifesting this but you realize somebody says hey man can you just double check this amount for me and make sure that i got it right because then you'll be doing it you'll be like oh no i didn't mean counting money for someone else you want to you want to get really 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 specific if it is something for your business you want to picture what that moment is when that experience is realized if it is a promotion if it is a, a completion of a project or maybe you are launching a course you want to imagine that particular moment where you are maybe seeing all the sales happen or you are witnessing clicking the button with all the modules complete or maybe you're writing a book and you're uh, witnessing the publisher or however you're you're completing that um, finalization of that that project to take place you are going to imagine being there in that moment you're going to feel your light body hand whether it's moving the mouse opening your computer shaking someone's hand counting money holding a baby whatever it is that you're manifesting you're going to be in your light body and feel yourself going through all the steps and you're going to play it out this is almost kind of like an nlp type of process too where you are playing out the movie in your head all the way through all the details in technicolor like a lucid dream and you're going to keep playing it over and over and over in your head until you just drift asleep with that manifestation then you know i'm pretty lucky <laughs> i have a sweet beautiful puppy in our life that needs to get up multiple times a night to go pee so every time i have to get up to let them out as i'm going back to sleep i repeat the process so you know if you are someone that wakes up multiple times throughout the night use that it's a great way to like let those multiple times that you're having to go back to sleep be the moment uh, that you're doing it or if you're finding yourself laying awake now you have something very productive that you can be doing you can also picture this through your mind throughout the day maybe putting sticky notes or reminders around you about exactly what you're manifesting so that you just go and you, this is helping you develop sensing and feeling more realistically moving around in your light body so this is the 28 day manifestation process that I want to invite each and every one of you to keep it to yourself. 
but maybe write it down on a piece of paper. This is something that you don't want to go, hey, by the way, this is what I'm picking from my 28-day manifestation process right now. It's kind of like blowing out the candles on your birthday cake, right? How they're all like, oh, don't say it out loud. Um, the reason why is because now only your consciousness is the energy influencing this dream. Whereas if you say it out loud to a bunch of people, if those people aren't the type of individuals that are going to amplify your manifestation template, you might find a currency of energy actually working against. That's the power of consciousness and intention. So just for this, I'd like for you to pick something. Um, maybe you can even type in the comments. Got it. <laughs> working on it. We're going to keep uh, touching base on this process. So within this, as we work with this, primarily the reason why I'm, I'm choosing this day, even though uh, currently is this, I'm uh, recording this video, it is the full moon in Leo in the gate 31, which is about the role of the leader, leadership energy. Uh, but the sun is in the gate 41, a fantasy of imagination of our creation right so this is very powerful but primarily also we have mercury and mars in conjunction right now which is amplifying the currency of our thoughts our inspirations right now so if you're catching this right as i'm posting this awesome if you are catching this at another time and another date it doesn't matter all of this technique works just as perfectly um the same so the Intention is, is the moment you come across this, if there's a nudge in you that goes like, oh man, I want to do that, please, by all means, get your piece of paper out right now. What is that one thing when you are realizing it, that it has happened now and you're witnessing it being like, yes, I've been dreaming about this and here it is. What would that moment be like? Create it like a movie. Start to move through that movie in your light body recognize that everything you see in your reality is something that you're either consenting to or not consenting to so the more that you become the master of what you are imagining sensing and feeling and noticing in the manifestation fields around you the more that you are stepping into your creator role and actualizing how you begin to co-create the dream through the Christic lineages, through universal divine law and through law of one, where we become the powerful dreamers that can offset all of the other dreams that have been trying to feed off of humanity. And we are the ones that are here to dream the new dream into the manifestation that is the dream of unity, of consciousness, of elevated states of being our spiritual adult self. How magical that is. So with so much love, I wanted to share this process with you. Please take it, put it into action, and please, by all means, uh, type in, if you've got it, if you're doing it, you don't want to type in necessarily exactly what it is, but that when it's recognized, let's share that with each other. That'll be the time we get to go say, there it is, and, and post that out to the world. So with so much love, thank you so much for letting me share this with you. Thank you.